Shalom Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benoon, and I hope you are having a blessed evening, and I trust the message that we loaded up for you from uh, the Breeze Revival there was a blessing for you as well. And wanted to just bring to your attention and, and remind you about the conference that we'll be speaking in on June 19th and the 20th. This is being sponsored by Sister Lisa Tesh out of Newport Ritchie, Florida. It's actually called the, uh, oh gosh, if I remember right, the Florida Biblical Prophecy uh, conference and uh, we'll also be uh, praying for the sick at the end of this uh, conference here as well as even a baptismal service that we'll be doing for those that want to be baptized. There's many that have expressed the desire to do so and uh, and we hope to see many souls saved as well. But anyway, this conference is a very special conference and, uh, and it is going to be held at the Homewood Suites uh, in Newport Ritchie, Florida. That's on 11115 U.S. Highway North in North Newport, Ritchie, Florida. Uh, I will post in the description here the more information for you on this, but you can go to, uh, there's a Facebook page called Florida Biblical Prophecy and Healing Conference. Sister Lisa Tesh has posted this on there. The conference begins at 2 p.m. On, uh, on Friday the 19th and will also run through the 20th. It closes at 7 p.m. on that Friday begins again on that uh, on the Shabbat morning of the 20th at 10 a.m. and will run till about 6, 6.30 the following day with, uh, with, a, with a, uh, a lengthy lunch break there to give you plenty of time uh, to, to rest yourself in between. Uh, myself and my wife, though, will be speaking as, uh, as well as Sister Lisa Tesh, who's also an author, and uh, we'll be speaking at the conference, going into a lot of things, a lot of important issues, especially regarding the Antichrist, the system, uh, we'll be sharing with you photos that we have taken uh, in different parts of the world, including Israel and, uh, and, and Rome and in different places throughout Europe, uh, the Holocaust places, things like that. Uh, just to really kind of sh to show you how serious of an issue we're living in. Another thing that, I that I'll be speaking on during this time uh, again, is going to be the, the, the two witnesses. Now, when I speak about the two witnesses in this particular meeting, I'm wanting to share with you on a book that I'm working on now, uh, not so much the identity of the two witnesses, but dealing with the type of ministry that they're going to be bringing. Because one thing that I keep seeing, that God keeps revealing in my heart, is the type of ministry they're going to bring. This is not a a play church, make me feel good, oh, let's kind of agree with everybody type of ministry. This is a ministry that God is bringing on this earth in order to bring correction. And as I've said in many times before, he calls them two witnesses for a reason. Because why? You can't find two Baptists, two Methodists, two Presbyterians, Catholics, Pentecostals, or anything, or anything else that can ever get into one mind and one accord. And clearly, God needs to have the purity of the gospel brought forth in order to bring judgment on this world of those who reject it. So we'll be going into that as well. And not to mention, this is all preluding the conference that we're doing, uh, that we've been invited to speak at in Israel in September. Uh, September 16th through the 18th there with Brother Kellen Davidson there. Many of the pe many people will be speaking at this conference here, but Brother Kellen has been kind enough to give me a very broad platform in speaking and bringing out not just anti-Semitism, but Rome's attack on Israel. I mean, we are getting, brothers, sisters, we are getting at a major crossroad in biblical history. And these are things that we're going to be bringing out in the conference here in Newport Ritchie, Florida, and I can't encourage you enough. If you're able to come, be there. We will try to load this up on YouTube, and I say try. There may be some things that I will edit out for the for, for, for safety purposes, uh, but you, you, I think it would be a blessing for you to come because you need to see what exactly is is, is laying right ahead of us now. I mean, we are in a crossroads here. We see that the Pope of Rome is coming to the United States. He is going to go to, to meet both houses of Congress, speak there, as well as the United Nations. We see that, the, that, that the, not only the world, 136 nations are in favor of a two-state solution in Israel. We see that Israel, according to what we have already seen and documented over and over and over, CNN is scared to say it. 
Fox News won't say it. Newsmax doesn't have the guts to say it. Even Steve Molesberg, who I, I, I love the man for his stand for Israel. No one is telling you that they've already made this two-state solution. They have already made the borders there in Israel. They're going to have checkpoints there. They're going to internationalize Jerusalem. Oh, they might say, well, it's a capital for the Palestinians and for Jerusalem. No, it is a capital for the Pope of Rome is what it is. You're going to, Jews are going to have to have a passport in order to go through the checkpoint point to get into Jerusalem. That's how serious this is. This is why you see all the infrastructure being built. And if the Jews don't like it, they'll put a war in there to try to force the Jews hand. And we are going to go deeper into these things, of, of the things that are happening in the conference here in Newport Ritchie, Florida. You're not going to want to miss this if you're able to be there. If you haven't made plans already, or for whatever reason, if something has hindered you in coming, Definitely come, come to it. My wife will be speaking with me. I know you'll be blessed by the things that God has revealed to her. I'm going to be showing you how the restoration message that the two witnesses will bring to show you how that women that have been held captive for the last 2,000 years are going to be set free that God is going to show you what type of message that these two witnesses are bringing. Why? Because the church is not telling you what it is, and they have tried to hide it. They've tried to hide everything to begin with. And so it'll kind of give you a little precursor, because in September when we speak in Israel, it's not going to be playing church at all. And, and I thank God that Brother Kellen has the the the... the, the the guts to, to, to allow me to speak on, a, on his platform there in Israel, especially knowing that what the Pope of Rome is doing and, and what they're going to do is force Israel's hand. If the people of Israel do not accept this two-state solution, then they're going to level all the sanctions against them. They're going to try to do everything they can to cripple Israel. Why? Because Rome and the government of Israel have already made the agreement for two states. They've just got to get the people to go along with it. And the Israel is not going to go along with it peaceably. To be pushed down to two, to a little eight-mile section of land? I mean, come on. we, we got to recognize God said that we would come home to our land according to Micah, but he said we would also be driven out and dwell in the fields. And that's exactly what's going to happen. We're going to bring forth birth pains in Israel. But the same token, it is time for the Jewish people to have a revival. It is time for the precursor of Mashiach to come on the scene. God said that he would send Elijah. Yeshua confirmed it. He said that Elias truly shall first come and restore all things. We find many other things that have been written about what's going to happen in this hour. And there's things that you need to know, things that you do not know that have got to come out. Because brother, sister, we are at the advent, at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach is about to come on the scene. But before he comes on the scene, it'll be like it was back during the, the during Egypt when God said to Moses, I have come down and I have seen the affliction of my people and I have come down to deliver them. It's God is saying, I, 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 all the way. And then he looks at Moses, he says, and I'm sending you. See, so this is exactly the time that we're living in. This is what's going on. And God has seen as well that he's brought Israel back to their homeland according to the prophecy of Zechariah. Many people try to tell me, they say, well, Israel's not supposed to go there until they've done their repenting and everything. Uh, I get all kinds of comments out there. Um, even I haven't spoke to him in a long time. Brother Rob Skiba used to say things like this. He said, there's no way that, that Israel can be in there. This cannot be the Jews that God was speaking about because he said, God said that he'll bring them back home. But I remind you again, and to those that, that follow Brother Rob, precious man, but God said the same thing when he brought Moses down to deliver them. God kept saying, I have come down. I will deliver you. I will do this. But then he used Moses and Aaron and Miriam to do the job. And that's the way God is going to do it again. God, yes, he's coming down. God says that he would bring them back to their homeland. But remember, some say that, well, they have to repent before that they can come back. No, according to Zechariah chapter 12, Israel would be in their homeland when they did what? When they recognized the Messiah. They said they're in the homeland. And they said, where did you get these wounds? He says, in the house of my friend. And it's the house of Judah. Even God said in Zechariah chapter 12 that he will gather the house of Judah first, that they do not envy the house of Israel. 
And that's exactly what we're seeing. All the prophecies are laying there. We see that, that when, according to Micah, that yes, God would bring us. Uh, we also know that he, we would not be uprooted again. But what will happen? There will be trouble that will come. There will be birth pains that have to happen. And there's so much that you guys have got to know about what's going on. And, and, and I want to share with you here another, another news account that has come out. The World Council of Churches in September on the, uh, let's see, what is the dates on this? This is on their website. It's called Palestine Israel Ecumenical Forum. Uh, it says World Week for Peace in Palestine, Israel, the, between September 20th and 26th of 2015. They say God has broken down the dividing walls. God ain't broke down no dividing walls like that. And I will say one thing, though, when it comes to the Muslim people, I encourage you to witness to them. This is their hour. Because remember, God said until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in, Israel would remain blind. So if you know of a Muslim person or an Arabic person on the street, you see them, pray and ask God to lead you to give you the grace to say something to them about the Yeshua, that he's the Messiah, that he come to save them as well. And tell them, say, look, even like the Palestinians say, you know, I know you have tensions between you and the Jews, but do you realize that this is the hour for you to recognize who Messiah really is? He's not just a prophet. He was sent for the salvation of your soul as well, because when God turns to those Jews, your day is over. So anyway, but I know it's, it's a minority in, in, over there in the Palestinians that are doing all this uproar. So I've met many Palestinians that have a, that have a, just want peace, but they need the peace of Jesus Christ is the peace that they really need. But let me just share with you what it says here. It says here, the Palestine-Israel Ecumenical Forum of the World Council of Churches invites member churches, faith-based communities, human rights groups, social movements, unions, and other civil society organizations around the world to join together in 2015 for a week of advocacy and action to support of an end of the, as they call it, the illegal occupation of Palestine and a just peace for all in Palestine and Israel. Congreg uh, congregations and individuals around the globe would share the hope of justice shall unite during the week to take peaceful actions together to create a common international public witness. See, the whole world, both religious and political, has come against Israel. When the Pope of Rome said just here, just what, a month ago, that he declared that the Palestinians are a state, immediately, remember, he has two keys on his flag. Two keys represents uh, spiritual and temporal powers, political powers. Immediately, you had 136 nations declare there's a Palestinian state. We agree and we accept it and we'll vote for it, the United Nations. What happens now? The World Council of Churches, the ecumenical movement also has sided with the Pope and are coming there to demonstrate. At the same time, the Pope of Rome is going to go to the United States and address Congress, both houses, and he's going to take and do what? He's also going to speak at the United Nations. What's he doing? He's setting up that one world government. He's setting up the new world order, the ecumenical movement, and he needs Jerusalem as his headquarters. He wants to fake a millennial reign. Notice what I'm telling you. He's going to fake a millennial reign. And don't think that they won't be miracles and signs that follow whatever kind of movement that the Antichrist is going to have because the Bible said they would have signs and wonders. But this is why God will have to raise up the two witnesses on the scene to counteract that. Now, I kind of got off. I wasn't intending to, to, to get all excited like this, but let me just share with you. Brother, sister, listen, you don't want to miss this little conference in Newport Ritchie, Florida. We've been talking about it for a while. Uh, you can go to Facebook again. Go to Facebook. Look it up. Contact Sister Lisa Tess. She can tell you how to do this. Uh, but there's, I know there's a little special deal there. Uh, if, you, if you book with the Homewood Suites, there's a registration number. Uh, it's under Florida Biblical Prophecy and Healing Conference. That is the Facebook page Sister Lisa set up for this. Um, and if you register with Homewood Suites uh, by Hilton there in Newport Ritchie, Florida, there is a code that needs to be given. I'm looking here. I 
don't see that code listed right here. Um, but anyway, um, if you email Sister Lisa Peterson Tesh, I'll put her email uh, in the description box there. Email her. She can tell you about the code and what needs to be done. But you, you, you really want to be here. I'm going to try to upload the conference on YouTube. I don't have the abilities like Brother Paul Begley to run this live. And, and I really don't want to run it live because there are things that I'd like to share that maybe I wouldn't normally share here. Of course, there's a lot of things that I'm brave enough to share anywhere I go. I don't really care. But, uh, but anyway, I, I know it'll be a blessing. A lot of things that you get to see that you won't get to see on YouTube or Facebook or anywhere else. Uh, but um, definitely be a part of this because this is only a prelude of what's going to happen in Israel when we stand against the Antichrist system in the entire world because we have been given a public platform in Jerusalem to speak publicly. And, and I trust if you've ever planned on going to Israel, now I know it's a rough time to go. It's the most expensive time to go is uh, when we're going there very soon because it'll be during the high holidays as well. And, and, and it's always more expensive, e even the place we stay at, more expensive during that time because the Jewish people are just up the rates during those particular times. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Remember us in your, in your tithes and offering. I, I don't like saying that very often, but I, the only reason I'm saying it now, there is tremendous needs that we have in, in trying to, to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to you. Uh, we want to win as many souls as possible, and there's certain things that we have need of, and I don't want to speak what they are. God knows what they are, and God has never, ever let us down in, in anything. We thank you for your love, and, and those of you that are part of this ministry that give, we thank you from the sincerity and the depths of our heart for all that you do. And, um, and those of you that have just come on board, uh, that just started listening, if the Lord lays it upon your heart to support this ministry, one thing you'll always know, I always speak from my heart. I don't sensationalize things. I tell you from my heart what I believe to be the truth. And I trust it's a blessing. I know many people say that it is a blessing. And we're here to bless you to, and to bring you the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the best way we know how. Thank you for being a part of this with us. If you want to give, you can do it online at our website, either israelreturns.com or israelinewslive.org. Either place you can give there. Uh, or you can look in the description box on this video or at the end of the video there, you will have our mailing address here in America in Newport Ritchie, Florida. Sister Lisa handles our mail for us. It comes that way. Uh, and we know every single thing. She's so faithful and kind in handling this for us there uh, while we are overseas and because we spend about nine months out of the year overseas. God bless you. We love you and thank you for being a part of this ministry with us. Shalom. I'm Stephen Benoon with the Institute of Biblical Research and Israeli News Live. Good evening.